Okay, 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 hold up, hold the phone, hold your gamma laps, hold your controllers before you even spit out that shit. Let's discuss this because there's a lot to talk about in this video and I hope you all sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Um, so first of all, I am just not really enjoying Black Ops 4. Now, I have said in a previous video and many previous videos that uh, I've been really enjoying Red Dead 2, the story, uh, and online that came out recently. I've been enjoying Red Dead 2, so that has kind of taken my time away from playing Black Ops 4. But still, uh, getting past that and getting aside from that, we're just going to be talking about Black Ops 4 here in this video. Why I think that it is not worth the money that it, it costs. Even on sale, I don't think that it's worth it. And why I'm probably going to be quitting Black Ops 4 asterisk unless they make some huge changes, which I highly doubt they will make. But if they make huge changes, I might play it again. But as of right now, I'm just really fed up with Treyarch and Activision uh, pushing their fan base away. You know, Black Ops 4 was supposed to be, and I guess we said this with World War II as well, we say this with all the Call of Duty games of these recent years, it's supposed to be the game that brings everyone back to Call of Duty, right? And this year with Treyarch, you know, I really had high hopes because Black Ops 3, I felt, was such a fantastic game, even though the campaign was kind of mediocre, um, and the multiplayer was more futuristic than not, and, you know, a lot of people didn't like that in the supply drop system in that game and so on, and, you know, Zombies was pretty cool in that game, but, like it is in every game, but, uh, ultimately, I think if you had to sit me down and say, what game would you rather play for the rest of your life, Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4, I would easily, hands down, no doubt about it, pick Black Ops 3. And the reason is, is I mean, obviously I'm kind of bored of the multiplayer. I wouldn't really have any desire to go back to Black Ops 3. I'm already Master Prestige in that game. I have Dark Matter. I loved Black Ops 3, you know. And if I were to go back to play it now, I think that I would still like it. But Black Ops 4 just deviates too much from being Call of Duty. And it's not anything like we've seen really in the past. Now, I know that, you know, obviously they want to innovate and change things, but I think Black Ops 4 took it way too far, and they actually took out things that I think are crucial in making Call of Duty. And uh, and then at the end of this video as well, uh, I'm probably going to, you know, be saying what I'm going to be doing as far as uh, content goes from here on out, uh, because I I'm not really entirely sure right now, you know, I... I I don't really feel the desire to play Black Ops 4, and that's just the simple truth. I'm not going to, you know, lie here behind a, a screen here and say that, you know, Black Ops 4, oh, it's it's all right. You know, I hope that they, you know, get through these patches and make it better and sit here and be frustrated at the game and trying to get gameplay and then uploading the gameplay and making mediocre, mediocre content over it versus if I could be playing something else that I would much rather enjoy and, uh, and, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it on that part. But as far as Black Ops 4 goes, is it worth your money? No, it's, it, and I think it's lackluster. It's not even worth it on a sale. And there are many reasons for this. There are many reasons why. Uh, so I'm going to briefly kind of like go over things because I've said some of these in videos past. So I'll link those in the description and on cards on your screen as we go through it. But first of all, I did mention this part on Twitter um, you know, what is the biggest, the most lackluster thing in Black Ops 4? And it's actually not even in Black Ops 4. That's how lackluster it is. It's nothing to do with multiplayer. It's nothing to do with Blackout because I don't even play that. And it's nothing to do with zombies. It's the fact that Black Ops 4 has no campaign. And more importantly, Black Ops 4 has no identity. Now, if you go back in years previous, obviously, all of mo I think every single Call of Duty game has had a campaign, and that's what's given it its identity. You know, even World War II, the game that came out last year, it was a game set in World War II. You had a story, it had an identity to it. Black Ops 3, it was a campaign that was mediocre at best, and it was set in the future, but it still had an identity to it. Black Ops 1, a campaign set in the uh, Vietnam War slash Cold War era. You know, it had an identity to the game. It brought life to the multiplayer. Um, you take Modern Warfare 2 or MW3, uh, games that are set... Well, MW3, we'll say, for example, a game that was set in a fictional World War 3, 
even a fictional story, you know, they have an identity to the game, and it brings life to the multiplayer and the other game modes within the game. Black Ops 4 just doesn't have that, and yeah, you could sit back there and angrily press buttons on your keyboard like this, saying that, oh, well, Black Ops 4 has the specialist story missions, there's a campaign in there for you, but... That's not a true campaign. It's literally just story missions to get you used to using the specialists. Yeah, they have Frank Woods in there. Yes, he's funny. Yes, they're not bad missions, but it's not a campaign. It doesn't give Black Ops 4 an identity, even though we know Black Ops 4 is set in between Black Ops 2, after Black Ops 2, and before the events of Black Ops 3. But that's really it. There's nothing else besides that. And yeah, they have, like, specialist stories and backgrounds behind them, but... I just don't really find that interesting. Uh, to, to some people, it might be interesting, and then the specialist story missions would go along with that. But I'm talking about an overall overarching game story, and that's what Black Ops 4 is lacking. And that's why I say it's completely not worth the money solely for that reason. But beyond that, for another reason, you might say, oh, well, Black Ops 3 had a campaign, and it was kind of mediocre, as you did mention. So when Black Ops 4 was coming out and it said that it wasn't going to have a campaign, it was just going to be multiplayer and then Blackout and Zombies, why did you say that it was okay for them to do that? And there's a reason for that. Well, if they had focused more on multiplayer and Blackout and Zombies, uh, not having a campaign, it would be okay. Uh, at, at first, I was kind of with the idea of not having a campaign if they were going to make the game modes the best that they can be, but so far, they really haven't done that, and they haven't really proven their worth, and then on top of that, the fact that now we don't have a campaign in the game, it just kind of makes everything fall into place as being lackluster. So, moving on to multiplayer with that side of things, uh, this is the part where I've already mentioned this in a few videos, and I'll link those here. But I think that there are way too many advancements with the multiplayer. Uh, you know, I, I come from an older school of Call of Duty. Not like the really old school, but I, my first game was with Black Ops 1. And uh, this game here, it just feels like they advanced too much. They innovated too much. And I know that they have to innovate in, in some ways. But they just really took it off the rails and made it too far of a deviation from Call of Duty. Uh, obviously they have manual health. I, a lot of people like that as far as what I've seen, but I really just don't. I think that it's kind of corny and stupid. If you ask me, I think that it was better to have the auto health regen, which is what I hope returns in the next call of duty game and that they don't take the, uh, footsteps of having this tactical manual health regen, but we're going to have to wait and see. Um, they don't have a typical grenade slot. Uh, everything is with the OP specialist characters. The game is basically set around these specialist characters, and I guess that kind of goes along with the story missions that they were trying to put uh, in the game and trying to replace the campaign with. Um, so I guess it kind of makes sense in that area, but I'm just not really a fan. And the the main reason is is because if you even go back and take a look at Black Ops 3, you know the specialists complemented the multiplayer in that aspect. They were really really balanced, I do have to say. And it was rare when somebody got an ability that they can use. And in Black Ops 3, you could only pick one ability or the other ability. But in Black Ops 4, people have two abilities. I think that it's just way too chaotic, and I don't like the specialists in Black Ops 4. I'm sorry to say, but I think that they ruin the gameplay because. Uh, Black Ops 4 is pretty much set all around using the specialist versus playing the game, and I don't like that at all. I don't like giving free rewards out to people. Um, the fact that kill streaks have really been dumbed down, that they won't add in more streaks or make the streaks better, more powerful than the specialist, because right now, basically, essentially, as I was saying in the uh, the video about why I don't like specialists, I could earn like a 13 kill streak attack helicopter. That'll go around and get shot down within a minute, but then the other, another guy on the other team could call in a, a dog, Nomad's dog, and it could go on a rampage and get kills, and he just gets it for free. And I just don't like that aspect, obviously, besides that the spawns are still messed up. I don't know what, the, like, Treyarch, what is wrong with your spawn algorithm? You have been making Call of Duty now for years, you know, Black Ops is one of your most popular franchises... And you ruined the spawns in Black Ops 4. They do not make sense at all. 
Um, uh, I think the best maps in Black Ops 4 are the reimagined maps from the older Call of Duty games. Every single new map that they added, just it's <laughs> all the older maps are just better. And maybe that's just because of me being uh, having the nostalgic feeling of playing on them. But I personally think that they are the best playing maps in Black Ops 4. Now, it, comparing that to the way they used to play in their older Call of Duty games, there's no match. They obviously play better on those games. In Black Ops 4, they kind of play mediocrely compared to that. But still, they are the best playing maps in Black Ops 4. So that says something. Obviously, since the game, since the beta, I've said that the score streaks cost way too much. And over the course of eight patches, they seem to want to nerf streaks because they nerf the points per kill uh, that the streaks get from 25 to 10, which makes absolutely no sense at all. So before, if you got an attack helicopter that got four kills, it would essentially give you one kill as if you got for you know as if you killed one person on the ground but now if you were to do the same thing it would take the attack helicopter 10 kills for you to get one kill which makes absolutely no sense but then at the same time the specialists are giving out free streaks essentially to bad players now you know they're giving them to everybody they're giving them to good players they're giving them to bad players it teaches nothing to anybody anymore there's no there's nothing worth value in black ops 4 it's all just crazy chaotic here's this here's that here's a trophy for doing nothing you know and and that's what i don't like about black ops 4 and treyarch even claimed as well as activision that they were going to have hundreds of new events more than in World War II, and so far, at least from what I've seen, that hasn't even been the case. They've only really had the Halloween event, and they've added the Black Market, and they've done, which we'll get into in a second with the Black Market, but they've added, you know, the useless stuff, in my opinion. And the World War II events, as, as much as I didn't like World War II, they were way better than these Black Ops 4 events even were. And there's, there's really nothing special about these events, so I think that they lied in that kind of marketing scheme. But speaking of market and the black market here, I think that, I mean, obviously I wouldn't rather have the supply drop system, so the black market here in this game is a lot better than it was in, in Black Ops 3, but still, they're charging people way overpriced stuff for cosmetic skins, but not only that, they, they look the same, there's nothing special about them that, that kind of like sticks out like a color or anything. They really all look the same to me. And uh, the actual supply stream where you actually earn the stuff through leveling it up, that it would take an average player way too long. Even after they kind of like nerf the time that it is, it, it would take anybody way, nobody's going to finish that. Not a, a person that goes to school and work or even just works or does or has a normal life, I'll say, is never going to finish that supply stream unless you buy COD points and finish it that way. There's no way. So it just makes you feel like you're useless against everyone else. Now, I know it's only cosmetic so far, but who knows in the future, they're probably going to add in something that's pay to win. We know it is Activision. It's already in the game. It's going to be planned. I mean, I, I'm calling it now. It's just going to come to the game. Uh, I don't like Blackout, so I don't play Blackout. I have a specific video on that. I won't go into too much detail here on that, so I'll link that video there. Um, I think Zombies is pretty cool. I only played it a handful of times. I know that a lot of people have said that there's a bunch of bugs and stuff with Zombies, but overall, I think that as that goes on, you know, Zombies is in a great place, and it's got the same kind of prestiging and stuff from Black Ops 3, so that's good. But um, overall, to kind of like sum all of this up, I think that Black Ops 4 is just kind of lackluster in the multiplayer department. Uh, it doesn't really meet the standard of fun. More, It's more frustrating than fun, in other words, and I don't have fun playing the multiplayer. But beyond that, there's really no identity to the game without a campaign, and therefore, it's really not worth your money. I think that this, is a, this year is a skip over, and honestly, if I could get my money back, I would. Unfortunately, I bought the digital version like I always do with these games, with any game. And uh, I wish I could. I wish I could get my full sixty dollar refund back because this game is not worth it. Now, is it is it the worst Call of Duty game ever made? No, I think that World War II uh, t takes the place as one of the worst Call of Duty games ever made. And you know, it's it's gonna be a little bit before this game kind of like settles into place and uh, people sort of see where it kind of falls on that line of fun or balanced or frustrating or whatever but in my personal opinion i would rather i would take any black ops game over this one you know this game just is not worth it 
And uh, so there you go. I hope you can. I hope I can save you sixty bucks or save somebody else sixty bucks from buying this this game because right now it's just totally not worth it in my opinion. And uh, with that said, I mean, I don't honestly know what I'm going to do for content as of yet. I plan since obviously Red Dead 2 just came out with the online. Uh, I want to do content on that, like maybe some funny moments that I recorded and, um, you know, get some like updates and like changes going uh, for the online system and, and what I think should come to online. In other words, because right now it's kind of bare bones, but it is in a beta stage. But also as far as like Call of Duty content goes... You know, I just, Black Ops 4 is just not cutting it for me. You know, I, I I try to enjoy it. It's not like I'm trying to hate on it. I get on, uh, I have a couple, you know, a little bit to play some games, and then I get on and I play like two or three games of Black Ops 4, and I literally cannot take playing the game anymore. It's too frustrating for me. I don't, I, I don't even like it. You know, after the third game, I'm just like, just, I just quit out. I'm just like, I need to play something else or else I'm going to get pissed off. I'm going to have a high blood pressure. You know, it's just not fun. You know, it's not even balanced either. That's the thing. Like, there, the, the, the case about a lot of Call of Duty games is whether it's fun or balance. It's like, what's the fun versus balance level? But here, Black Ops 4 is neither fun nor balanced. It's way too chaotic and frustrating. That's what I would describe it as. And I just don't want to play it. I really don't. I mean, I want it to you know, level up, do it. The same thing that I do every year with most Call of Duty games is get to max prestige in, in the games that I like, of course. Um, get max prestige and even get the Dark Matter camo. You know, the camos look cool. They did a lot of cool things in Black Ops 4, but unfortunately, I just don't like playing it, and I just can't play it in its state that it's in right now, and that's where the asterisk comes in. If they actually make some major changes... Um, to allow there to be a playlist without specialists or do something that drastically changes the game, I just don't want to play it. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoy this video and let me know your thoughts down below. on uh, if, if I don't continue to play Black Ops 4 and I don't upload stuff, on Black Ops 4, what kind of, like, what Call of Duty would you want to see the most, I guess? I think, in my own opinion, I would go back to Black Ops 1. I would play Black Ops 2, but it, as, the last time I played it, it was really hacked to shit, so I don't know if I'm gonna go back to that game, but, um, I might, I might go back to Black Ops 1 for a while and to just upload, you know, gameplays on that or whatever. I really have no idea, but, uh, it just, I don't know. I mean, you could let me know your thoughts down below. I think I've really said enough at this point. And uh, just, you know, final closing thoughts. Don't waste your money on this shitty game. There you go. Uh, I'm Ninja Geek. I'm out. And peace.